Hey guys, it's Brandon with Sonic Electronics. I'm Alan. And today we got a question regarding the JL Audio Rips technology built into their slash and HD amplifiers. Yeah. yeah. All right guys, so today's question is from uh, YouTube. And the question is, what exactly does JL Audio's Rips technology do? Well, Alan's got your answer, gentlemen and do. ladies. I do, I do. So uh, the RIPS portion, which is the R in the RIPS, is the regulated portion that we're going to talk about first. What about the I? We're going to talk about the I second, Brendan. And what about the P? The P is for power and the S is for supply. There so we're not going to talk about the power supply. People may want to ask. We're talking about the R and the I today. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Go Maybe ahead. in another video we can talk about the P and the S. <laughs> is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. So. <laughs> Basically, the regulated portion of it means that the amplifier uh, simply adjusts its operation to maintain the output power and low distortion of the amplifier based on its ratings. Uh, the intelligent part of the RIPS power supply is that it accepts a wide range of impedances from 1.5 to 4 ohms per channel. Um, and simply, basically what that means is from anywhere from 11 to 14.5 volts and in any impedance from 1.5 to 4 ohms, the amplifier is going to look at the load of the voltage, the impedance, and no matter what, it's gonna put out the exact same amount of power regardless of the voltage or the impedance from 1.5 to 4 ohms and from 11 to 14.5 volts. And that's built into their Slash Series amplifiers as well as their HD models. Uh, so if you're looking for a pretty stellar amplifier for even marine, UTV, or even vehicle applications, that's definitely the route to go in my opinion. What's nice about the RIPS power supply is that unlike like a conventional unregulated power supply amplifier, as voltage drops, so does the output that you're going to get from the amplifier as well. Um, and of course, it's really nice to be able to just say at any impedance of whatever I have connected to my amplifier, I'm getting the same amount of power as well too. Obviously, that definitely comes with a price. And then you could also say, some would say that's a downside because what if I increase my input voltage to the amplifier, maybe say give it 16 volts. Well, in the case of a RIPS power supply, you're not gonna get more power out of it. You're still gonna get the same rated power. And if you have an unregulated amplifier that has the ability to actually work at a higher voltage, that typically means you're gonna get more out of it. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. But for the average everyday guy that's looking for something to get maximum power out of his amplifier and he doesn't have a super robust charging system, the RIPS power supply is an awesome way to, to, uh, to definitely look at and go with that. Exactly, and they're extremely efficient amplifiers as well, uh, especially pertaining to the HD series from JL. So take a look at those amplifiers, make sure you guys subscribe to our channel, check out our Instagram, YouTube, I think you're on it right now. Probably. And Facebook. Once again, this is Brendan. I'm Alan. Happy, nice skate. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Keep back. <laughs> <laughs>